All right, man, isn't Darius Smith enough? Um, is he enough for uh is he enough for the Detroit Lions? All right. Um to overcome, you know, some issues they having across the defensive line. Most people think it ain't enough. Most people go overkill. <laughs> Most people go overkill because um, of the injuries that happen, we know when an injury hit one position, it just decimate that position. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I think a lot of people kind of uh, they kind of know that. So yeah, it decimates uh, one position, or whatever, or one 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 position. Yeah. So you know, we had Davenport go down. You know, we had Kaminsky first go down. Um, you know, who else went down after uh, after Kaminsky? Um, you know, I feel like somebody else went down. Davenport, Kaminsky, uh, obviously Aiden Hutchinson went down. So, yeah, you know, Makai Wingo is injured too now. He's just not coming back. Uh, so they had a lot of injuries just across that defensive line. And, you know, a few guys that could play that defensive end, posi- that defensive end position, Derek Barnes was a guy that was going to play as an emergency defensive end. You know what I'm saying? He was a guy that he was going to have play as the emergency defensive end, and he went down. So he may or may not be back. Not sure. I uh, know Kaminsky got a February return day, so more likely he won't be back. So, yeah, it's a bunch of them, you know, a bunch of them guys, man, that, uh, that you know, you know, probably won't be back. And you're looking at the situation, you know, with Zendaria Smith, and the, the question is, you know, a lot of people are like, yeah, you know, next year, it's going, you know, it's going to be a movie with him and Aiden Hutchinson. But this year, you thinking like really what you banking on is that, you know, so one of them young guys continue to excel and get better. If it's no old school, is it, if it's the other dude that, that was, they part up from the practice squad, I forget his name. I like him a lot. Josh Pascal is really the guy. You know, Anzarike Pascal playing that defensive end position. You know, and James Houston is the guys that you really looking to step up in that defensive end position. You know, that's who you that's who you asking a lot from. That's who you asking a lot from. That's who you asking a lot from. You asking a tremendous amount from those guys to step up. But overall, I think they got enough bodies if they stay healthy. You know, I think they'll be okay. Yeah, I think they'll be okay. They have enough bodies. So Darius Smith is just the, you know, him and James Houston is the juice. They the speed. They the speed of the they the speed of the uh they're the speed of the of the defense. They're the speed. You know, the you know, Pascal is the uh and Anzarike is the power. So they got a really good balance there. You know, you put Makai Wingo on the end, you know, he the power, he's the power too. You know, he got some speed and power to him, even on the end. So, honestly, it, it makes, you know, honestly, I think they have enough, especially if they can stay healthy. Especially if they can get a lead and they can start kind of cutting some of these dudes' snaps down. You know, they can get a lead and start cut, cutting some of these dudes' snaps down. Then, yeah, it's de- it's definitely enough. You know, would I like to see them go out there and get a little oomph? A little bump. Yeah, I like to see them go up there and get a little bump. I would like to see that. Whether that's, you know, I don't, you know, whoever get cut or whoever on the free agent market or whatever that situation is, and we'll look at that in a minute. I would like to see if they can just get a little, mm, you know. Some guy you got, you know, kind of got in the fold. Some guy you got in the fold. And yeah, some guy you got in the fold, and and you know, you know, you you need him in situations. Hey, he got enough juice to pull through. Yeah, he got enough juice to fill through. You know, so. You know, so, but 
Other than that, other than that, man, I, I feel that uh I feel that uh yeah, this this is enough. They got so much versatility and hopefully you get a few guys back. Um uh, and they very may well um uh, get some guys back. So hopefully they get a few of these dudes back that can help them stay healthy and that's really you know the challenge right now you know i think it was good they got that loss you know i think it was good you know he got that loss so that way you ain't worried about trying to stay undefeated and that pressure that nah you know so but uh But um, but yeah, I think it was good they got that loss out the way. I think this was a good pickup. And obviously, you know, you know, would we like to have seen uh Miles Geared or Max Crosby? Yeah, it sounded good, but in reality that wasn't gonna happen. You know, and that's fine. That's fine. Zavaria Smith is, is is enough. You know, they had I think one or two sacks since, you know, um, Aiden Hutchinson went down, so they definitely needed some help. Um, so, you know, Davenport, while he played, he he was fairly effective. You know, he got a lot of pressures, but their problem was they wasn't getting the sacks. And Hutchinson this year was getting those sacks. And so now, you know, it's a Darius Smith uh, coming in, an experienced guy, and hopefully they can get back to – they won't be Aiden Hutchinson level of production, but if they get back to that production, it's going to be a group project. It's going to be a group contribution. It's going to be, you know, James Houston stepping up. It's going to be, you know, Pascal stepping up. He another guy. He get back there, but he don't get a bunch of sacks. He's really one of those bigger defensive ends than run-stopping defensive end. That's what he is. He's a run-stopping defensive end. You know, but he, he gets penetration too, but he just don't get the sack. Like, he's one of them dudes – he one of them dudes that do the dirty work. Yeah, he one of them dudes that do the dirty work. You know, he uh, he sit there and you know he'll be the dude that uh, you know, he do the grunt work and then somebody else reap the the benefit of a sack or reap the reap the benefit of 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 his you know of his work or whatever. But other than that, man, um, it's pretty much it. I think they got enough. Uh, let me know. Hold on, real quick. Hold on. Let's see what they got in the free agent market real quick. I said I was going to pull that up, so let's pull that up. See, well, I think we looked before, so I don't know if anything changed at this point. So let's see. Uh, let's see. This thing tripping. I ain't even click nothing. So here we go. So Yannick and Gonway, they're still showing he free. So that's the guy we'll go get. Shaq Lawson, Randy Gregory, possibly Pat O'Connor. Pat O'Connor play for us. Uh, maybe not Anthony Barr, but um, shit, Justin Houston still out there. He an old dog. So we got a few dudes still out there. But yeah, man, let me know what y'all think. You got the Trail Lines Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Appreciate the love support. Peace.